Like and subscribe to get more content of your favorite subreddit. Am I the asshole for stealing my sister's baby? My F29 little sister F21 we'll call her Jane has a 14 month baby girl. We'll call her Sarah, whom I have had custody of since late June of 2022. Jane was divorcing her husband, jobless, and homeless. I offered to take temporary guardianship of Sarah so she would be safe and cared for while Jane got her life together. At first, she turned me down. However, after Sarah was dropped off to our mom's house in dirty clothes and an old diaper by a stranger, while she was supposed to be under the care of her father, Jane agreed to give her to me and my wife. Now we made clear that it would be temporary and that Jane would still have full access and could get Sarah back whenever she felt ready. However, during the last six months, Jane has completely disappeared from Sarah's life. She doesn't ask about her. She doesn't make any effort to visit her. She doesn't ask us to bring her to visit. She has gotten a job and a an unsafe place to stay yet hasn't offered to take any financial responsibility. Not even in the form of buying her gifts. She doesn't call to talk to her or see her. I spoke to Jane recently about all this. And her defense is that it's too emotionally hurtful to see Sarah because of how much it hurts and how much she misses her. Her other excuse is that she doesn't have a car or enough money to buy Ubers or diapers. I told her how absolutely ridiculous all that is. You don't need a car or money to call or text. We have always made clear we'd be willing to bring Sarah to her. And she spends a wasteful amount of money on food and vapes. Even after speaking to her about the things she should or could be doing. She still has made no changes. Because of this, my wife and I have decided to look into our legal options for adoption. Sarah has legally been abandoned. And we only need to keep her a little longer before the courts would allow termination of Jane and her husband's rights. Husband is even more Mia than Jane is. Jane is livid about this and is threatening all kinds of things. But has done nothing. Important information. After I offered Oregonally and before we actually got physical custody of Sarah. My wife and I attempted IVF and failed. We hadn't told anyone about this. Even family. However, I told Jane about this on day one just so that there would be full honesty and so that none of this would seem sneaky if it were to come out. Later, Jane is bringing this up in a very hurtful way during all this saying that I am trying to steal her baby since we can't have one of our own. We have one adopted son already. This is very far from the truth. We are genuinely worried about the safety and well-being of Sarah if she were to go back to Jane. And the fact that Jane has essentially ghosted her baby. We feel we have every right to pursue permanent guardianship and adoption. So, am I the asshole? Edit 1. As several people have asked. Why don't I take in my sister too? I don't have space or money for an adult. Sarah has a bed in our room. And we spend about $700 a month on her. There is no way we could cover an adult. 2. And even if we could. She is not someone I would live with. She is a very unclean person. Doesn't shower or wash her clothes. And hangs out with junkies and other questionable people. She lost her last living situation because her roommate was arrested for possession of meth in the home. My wife and I have a 7-year-old son. And now Sarah, to protect. Edit 2. In regards to the $700 a month. That is an average. She came to us with nothing. We had to buy clothes. Bottles. Formula. A bed. A car seat. A stroller. Etc. Now that a lot of the big stuff is out of the way. It's not so bad. But babies, kids are expensive. She's growing fast. So clothes are a constant as well as dappers, wipes, and medical care. Additionally, I'm including all the legal fees we've paid. We count everything because we're keeping all receipts as part of proof of Jane's abandonment of Sarah. My state calculates the financial side of abandonment as a certain percentage of total expenses.
Edit 3. And this may come off a little aggressive. I certainly don't mean it to be. At what point is, reunification, just a nice way to say, ripped away from the only family, home she's ever known. It's a sweet sentiment and all. But Jane is a stranger to Sarah. And she is making no effort to change that. Years from now, when Jane finally gets it together, we're supposed to just give Sarah up. Even if we did a slow integration, how could that possibly be less traumatic than staying in her home with her family? If she was a little older and knew what was going on and could remember her mom despite being no contact for six months, that would be one thing. But she's an infant that has bonded to us the way infants are supposed to bond with their family in order to have secure attachments now and later in life. I truly, truly love my sister. And I really want her to straighten up and live a happy, healthy life. But the decisions she has made over the last six months are not ones that can be taken back. When Jane gets it together, I will be happy to let them have whatever relationship Sarah chooses to have with her. But it's not going to be a given that Jane will get her back. Final edit. As I have my answer, I do just want to make clear. As a lot of people seem to be focusing on the wrong thing here. The issue is not that Jane hasn't been able to get her life together in only six months. She has been through hell and back. And I'm very sympathetic to that. I understand it takes time. Sometimes even years to fix. The issue is that she has completely stepped out of Sarah's life. She has ghosted her. She has given up all responsibility and contact. And she is a stranger to Sarah. Sarah doesn't even recognize Jane in any way. The issue I am talking about with Jane and why I feel we should pursue adoption is because of the utter abandonment Jane has shown over the last six months. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more content of your favorite subreddit.